All right, Brandon O'Joy, footballhotbed.com, platform and GVP Sports. It goes down here, 7-on-7. Seven seven. We're now at the final. We had 32 teams, now down to only two. Homestead Broncos taking on Miami Jackson. The Broncos are led by the following players. Check it out. It's Maurice Alexander, incoming sophomore, Mar Mario Miser and Marcus Jackson. He's the guy you're going to see probably trying to do most of the athletic moves to get his team into the end zone. And, of course, for Jackson, you have to think about, hey, Mr. Quentin Flowers, and then also Tim Bellinger. He's the guy that they've been getting the ball to in the slot. It's going to be a great game. These two teams have had a very successful tournament. That's what brings them to the finals. And now let's check out and see who will be crowned the 7-on-7 7 -7 Nike football champion. Time here, Brandon O'Doy, footballhotbed.com, platform, sports, and GVP. With we're out here representing, listen, it's halftime 2020 contest, Miami Jackson and Homestead. The Broncos, listen, it's a very tight game. The battle of two quarterbacks, one, a former Florida City Razorback. Hey, he went and won the midget national championship hey, just last year. Now he's on a high school level propelling his team to the finals. And listen, on the other side, of course, you have Quentin Flowers, one of the 2014 best quarterbacks in the entire country. And check it out. They are knotted up 2020. It's been a great game, uh, sort of an offensive showcase. Hey, both teams are having a little bit of defense mixed in with a lot of offense. But hey, for the title, only one went can win. Hey, can Jackson pull it out? We will see what can happen on the Homestead side. A lot of talent on both sides. Keep it locked to Platform Sports. It's a hot bed war. Your boy Brandon O'Doy. Check out the second half and the final as we go into to see who wins the 707 Nike Championship.
Brandon Odoi Football Hotbed, the platform and GVP Sports. Listen, 707 Nike Tournament Final. It goes into overtime now. Homestead and Jackson got the ball first. <laughs> Now it's Homestead's ball. We'll see. Check out these exciting highlights of the conclusion of the 707 Nike Championship here out at Hialeah. This team here is special too for the first time in the history of the Nike 7 on 7. We have a school that went back to back. So we're going to present this champion, the MVP, the quarterback. Where is he? Maurice Alexander. Have it out, bro. The champion, the trophy. For you boys from the Stead. Proud of y'all. Thank you, team. The Stead. Who I bet you won't get Who I bet you won't get Who Kill it! Yeah! Yeah! All right, Coach Valdez here, uh, championship coach, Homestead Broncos. Listen, you guys come all the way from down south, and, and you come in and you represent. Talk about the win today and, and what it meant to be out here from early in the morning and get the championship. You know, I told the guys at halftime that it, it didn't matter. They had more guys than us. It didn't matter. All that mattered was it was time to make plays. There were seven on the field. There was no adjustments. They were playing a great game. We were playing a great game. It just came down to who wanted it and who would make more plays. And we worked hard for this. 
We got a great opportunity, and we came up and made plays. Like I told Miguel Lopez earlier, I told him, we kept finding guys to make plays. Different players stepped up and made plays throughout the game. And sure enough, consistent throughout it, our quarterback play was excellent, and our receivers just kept finding ways to make plays. Whether it was Devontae uh, Davis, whether it was Mario Mazir, or even bringing over DBs, everyone just stepped up and somebody made a play. So as long as we were kept stepping up, something good would happen to us. And we just stayed in the fight and made a great play. What does it mean by oh, for a young quarterback who hasn't even taken a high school snap, Maurice Alexander, coming up, a national champion at Florida City, playing youth ball, stepping up on such a big stage? What does it mean for him to come out here and get some confidence going into the season? Well, uh, he had a great spring game. He had a great spring. And he works. And uh, as long as you work hard, good things are happening. And today he put himself on the map. Um, he proved a lot to me. He proved a lot to his teammates. And, and he showed a lot of composure for being a young kid. And he didn't play like a young kid when it mattered. So he just stepped up. Talk about Mario Miser. He came up big for you today, especially in that overtime period. What are you expecting from him? Well, Mario, uh, we were missing a lot of guys today. Right. We were missing about five or six players that, that normally start for us. So a lot of guys stepped up. But this morning, I talked to Mario, and I looked at him in the face, and I told Mario, I got you today. You got to step up for me today. And I couldn't ask for anything more. When we stepped up to play against the West, he told me, and I thought we were down because we looked dead tired. We had just played two games back-to-back. -back. That was our third game back-to-back. -back. And he looked at me, and he goes, Coach, I'm going to make a play. I'm going to make plays, so just give me a shot. He scored like three touchdowns, got two picks. The kid's unbelievable. I can't ask any more out of him. Okay, let's let's bring in the MVP now, Mar uh, Maurice Alexander. Hey, you've been doing it on the uh, youth football level now. You know, you just won a national championship. Hasn't even been six months yet. But now you're at Homestead representing on the high school level. How does it feel to come out here and establish yourself, let everybody in, in Dade and Broward know, listen, I'm a quarterback that's going to be on the map? Oh, yeah, it feels good. But um, it just comes from hard work. Like, hard work pays out. Long you uh, work hard, good things happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Congratulations. And let's bring in Mario. Uh, listen, Mizir is the last name, correct? I think I got it. Okay. Hey, listen, you had incredible focus the entire time. Talk about your focus as you made that overtime play uh, to give your team the victory. Like, the only thing that was going across my mind, win, victory, win. Like, um, like, cause I told them boys I got them, like, you know, cause the other players ain't here, so I told them I got them. So, you know, I came through with a big play. Most of the time people talk about, you know, North Dade and Broward and things of that nature. South got something to say. Tell everybody what, you know, Homestead, what you want everybody to know, the world to know about Homestead Bronco football. Man, we back on the map, man. Homestead Bronco. Yo, Stead. Yo, Yo, for real. For real. Number one. Yo, Stead. Yo, Yo, Stead. Yo. Let's go. Let's take a picture.